All right, I'm just headed out the door. I'm about to go visit the guys at Mural. Now these guys are a really cool company. Just gotta, you really gotta pull the door. Mural is a basically like a remote working tool where you can actually collaborate with people from all over the world if you're working on projects. And it's a very visually focused collaboration tool. So I'm really excited to talk to these guys. A little bit about remote work, um, especially doing like remote design sprints, maybe even talk, talking about facilitation might be kind of interesting, like how that works remotely. Um, but come along and let's check it out. Hi, Brittany. Yeah, that's me. Going up. This is uh, Mariano. He is the CEO of Mural, and we're just we just had a nice little chat on this device, which, like, they take remote work to the next level. Okay. Oh, David, oh, your head's totally cutting off. Okay, so I'm here with David Chin. That was right, right? That's right. Good. And he is working with Mural. Now, Mural is, I mean, maybe I should let you give us like, like a one sentence version of what Mural is. So Mural is a, a online collaboration space for teams that uh, work together visually and uh, specifically supporting remote teams. Which is very interesting for AJ and Smart because we happen to run quite a few remote sprints and we get asked questions about it all the time. So my first question for you, David, is we work in Berlin, but often a lot of our clients are in the US um, and actually just all over the world. So what would you suggest for like balancing that? Like what are some tips you can give me for dealing with different time zones, people in, living in cross countries, this kind of thing? When you're working with teams uh, across multiple time zones, well, the first thing is when you're planning them, be very much aware of the time differences and then shorter breaks throughout the day. Okay, so this is really great. Now what I'm wondering, because a huge part of the design sprint is having a facilitator, which seems like if you're doing something remote would be very difficult. So how can you kind of like make sure that as a facilitator, I don't know, you're like, how can you facilitate if you're not in the same room with people? If everybody's remote, well even if they're not, um, I guess when you have a remote facilitator, you really want to make sure that you've nailed the technology. So the video and audio, of course, are key, and then make sure you have the stable internet connection. It sounds really basic, but even when we're having meetings um, from one office building to the next, you often get these, these issues when you expect it to be completely perfect. So when you're completely remote and the facilitator, everyone's kind of counting on you and you're running the show. Yeah. So you need to make sure um, everything is working as perfect as possible, so uh, planning and setup as the remote facilitator is key. Okay, so I guess my last question would probably be, it seems like it will be maybe confusing and very time consuming to run anything remotely, like a meeting or, I mean, especially design sprint because it's such a long process. So what would you say is like an important trick or hack that you can use in order to kind of just streamline your remote work? Get as much done ahead of time as possible. So the pre-work, send out, it can be something simple or something more detailed um, that you want your participants to have done ahead of time and bring into the workshop. So that way you're not, you know, if there was a small task, let's say that you wanted to get done in the beginning of the workshop, gathering some sort of information from each person, mm -hmm. um, you don't want to spend time uh, organizing that in a remote session where time is very valuable. Yeah, great idea, David. Thank you so much. Thank you for also giving me a tour of Mural and showing me all these cool gadgets. I was getting a little bit too excited about a lot of them. He had to like pull me away. So, thanks. Absolutely. Whee! <laughs> came back from the mural offices and they gave me so many fun gifts. They me this, I have no idea what this is, but I'm excited to tackle it. I'm pretty much gonna live in that t-shirt. We all know it's true. Um, some cool stickers and then this really neat remote work 
facilitation manual that I'm really excited to read and then to pass on to you guys. So basically, I learned a lot about remote work and about you know what makes it easier and what makes it, you know, what helps it work better. And I would love to know what you guys are wondering. If you have any questions at all um, that I could maybe ask David or that I could look into and to report back, whether it's like case studies or maybe it's just like things that you've found that when you do remote work, it comes up time and time again and it's difficult. Please let me know in the comments. That would be great. And uh, yeah, that's all. <laughs>